Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a review and mini tutorial for y'all today on the new Urban Decay Moon Dust palette, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll look at the packaging, we'll talk about pricing, I will show you some swatches, I'll also, I'll also, I'll also show you some swatches of these versus some of their individual moon dust eyeshadows. So I'll show you like how they compare, how similar they are, how different they are. And then I'll also talk about the formula of these shadows and just my overall review on this palette. And then I'm also going to show you a little mini tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. So yeah, let's get to it. The price of this palette is $49 and you get eight shadows that are 0.02 ounces each. And the full size moon dust eyeshadows are 0.05 ounces each. So these are a little bit less than half the size, but you do get eight of them in here. So that's really nice. And I really like the collection of colors they put in here. Like there's a couple of sort of neutrally kind of shades, but they're still sparkly and shimmery and bright and kind of like party time makeup, but they're still neutral-esque tones. And then you have a lot of really fun colors there. So really a neat collection of colors. I love that. As far as the packaging, so pretty. It's like a really nice like sparkly look to it. And this is kind of like dipped in and it's reflective. So I love the packaging. It's very sturdy feeling, sturdy plastic. It's about the size of my hand. So I think it's a good size for being able to travel with it. Like, you know, if you're doing like special event makeup or something like that, or even yourself, if you want to take it for vacation, like for a special party or event or something, it's a good size. And then the outside packaging is really pretty. I really like that. And you can see all the colors there and they're kind of like glittery and sparkly. So pretty. So love the packaging. And I think the pricing is a pretty decent price. You know, if you figure up like thinking about that, you're getting eight shadows that are about um, half the size of the full size, it is a pretty good value. So you are saving money, saving money. By going with this palette, you're getting more for your money here, um, but it is still $49. So it's an up there palette, but the value is pretty good if you factor in how much they are individually. Okay, now for some swatches, and I know these look a little bit funny, <laughs> but I wanted to be able to show you what these look like dry and then also applied wet, which is how I like to use them. So on the inner part of the swatches, those are dry. Those are all what they look like dry. And then the outer part where they, where they look a little bit more intense, I used some Max Fix Plus and a small brush to apply those to my hands. So you can really see what they look like both ways. So we're gonna start down here. This is the top left side of the palette. This is Spectre, Element, Magnetic, Lightyear. This one is Granite. Lithium, Vega, and Galaxy. All really, really pretty. I feel like Spectre doesn't look too impressive there, this one right here, but I do have this in my eye look today, and I really do like this one. I think it's beautiful too. So while that one doesn't seem to swatch as well, I still think that's a really pretty color. So I think they're all amazing. Now for some comparison swatches. So I don't own a ton of the individual moon dust shadows, but I do have some of them. So these are the ones that I wanted to kind of show you so you can see how similar or different they are. So these two are really not close at all. <laughs> so this one is Space Cowboy and that one is Spectre. These purples are getting a little bit closer. So this one in the middle here is magnetic from this palette. This one down here is Intergalactic. This one is Ether. And that over there is Solstice. So you can see, like, it's kind of in between these, but it's honestly a little bit darker than those. So they are different, but that one is definitely the closest to some of the ones that I have. And then these two up here, this one is Diamond Dog. No, this is Diamond Dog. And this one is Lithium. So Lithium is kind of more cool tone and a little bit more silvery. So those are the ones that I had that were relatively close, but not dead on dupes. Now, as far as the formula goes on these shadows, this is a very unique, different sort of formula of an eyeshadow. If you've never used the Moon Dust shadows, they are glittery. They're a little bit gritty feeling. They're slightly powdery and they can have fallout. So the key to using these shadows is 
using some kind of a sticky base. I almost always use a glitter glue. Using some kind of a mixing medium or setting spray. I pretty much always use my Max Fix Plus. So for me, I find that I don't really think that they're difficult to work with, but it's because I always do those two things. I always use a sticky base and I always foil them. And I just find that like they really don't go everywhere if I do that. Then if you do that, it intensifies the color, it gives them something to stick to, it helps them stay there throughout the day, and it just creates these beautiful eye looks. So I think they're gorgeous. I think they really make beautiful eye looks, but they are a very particular kind of formula. If you just go in and use these um, dry, especially with a brush, you're gonna have them all over your face. I mean, you're gonna have like a whole glitter makeup look because it's gonna be everywhere. I have used these um, dry, just like patting them on with my finger. I will get fallout that way, but not quite as badly as with a brush. I would just say, use a sticky base, use a glitter glue, use a mixing medium, because if you do that, they really are beautiful. So it's just about understanding the kind of formula that they are, and just knowing that they are a very different kind of formula, but I love them. I think they're really, really beautiful. So my overall review on this palette is that I really love it. I think it's just a fun kind of party time sort of palette. I mean, it's got some really fun colors in here. It's glittery, it's sparkly, it's beautiful. I think it's a lot of fun. So I love this palette. I would definitely recommend it. You just have to go into it knowing the kind of formula that these shadows are. But if you know that, I think you'll really enjoy it too. So. I'm loving it. So that's my overall review. So now we're getting into the mini tutorial on this look. Okay, so I've already applied some of Urban Decay's primer potion. So now I'm going to get my Makeup Revolution Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Iconic 3. And I'm going to get some of this kind of like just matte blending shade on a Sedona Lace EB15 brush. And apply this into my crease and transition area. Now I'm gonna get some Too Faced glitter glue and apply that all over my lids. I'm just gonna do this one for right now and then I'll go back and do this one in a second. Cause this kind of does dry, so you need to kind of move quickly. But it does stay tacky for a little bit of time, but not super, super fast. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. And I'm gonna get my Moondust palette and I'm gonna get some of Lithium. It's this one right here. I'm using a Sigma Concealer F70, I think, and I'm applying this all over the like outer, basically like two thirds of my eyelid. I'm really just leaving just the very inner corner. Okay, I applied a little bit more glitter glue on the inner corner. I wet my brush again, and now I'm gonna get some of Spectre on that same brush, and I'm going to apply that right on the inner third. I just wanna do something kind of different, so I kind of like these two colors together because they kind of look like they wouldn't go together, but they sort of do in a creative sort of way. And for just a little added dimension, I'm gonna get some of this brown right here on, ooh, I never remember what this is called, but I will link it down below for you. It's a little crease brush from CVS. So anyway, I'm gonna take that and I'm going to apply it right into my outer corner. Then for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to take some of this cream shade right here on a Pure Minerals brush and just apply that. Then for liner, I'm going to use a couple of my Laura Geller pencils. These are the Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliners. I'm going to line my upper lash line with the black one and then smudge it a little bit using the little smudgy dealy on the end. And then I'm going to use some of Cafe Mocha on my lower lash line. And then over that liner on my lower lash line, I'm gonna get some of this shade right here on a Sedona Lace EB21 brush and just 
smudge that along there. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and my Clinique Bottom Lash. So I'm going to apply that and then I will be back to show you the final look. And if you're curious about what I used on the rest of my face, my blush is Clinique's Melon Pop. My highlighter is the new Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. This is beautiful. I love this, but just know, holy moly, <laughs> go easy on it because it is really pigmented and amazing, but you just need the tiniest little bit. I mean, I barely tap my brush in here, but I love it. So that's my highlighter. And then for my lip combo, I've got on my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Tawny, and then my Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Versailles, one of their new metallic colors. Love this lipstick. I especially love it with this liner. All right guys, so that wraps up this review and mini tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about this palette. If you've picked it up or if you've swatched it, what are you thinking about it? What are some of your favorite shades? If you guys have any questions, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.